welcome back to another episode of Put Your Makeup On, where I post videos like this every Monday and Thursday. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial featuring the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I am in absolute love with this palette. It has everything I will ever need as far as a warm, smoky eye goes. I think this look is very wearable for a lot of different skin tones, and it works with really whatever lip you decide whether you're doing a pink or a red or a nude and I was feeling myself wearing my little like leopard type of print blouse with my golden uh, earrings so and my red background aka my red winter scarf so this is the look that I am featuring in today's video and of course if you want to know how to recreate this look you know what to do this is how we do it on putting your makeup on so just keep watching First, I'm starting off with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance to make sure that nothing creases and everything is more longer lasting, of course. We are diving into the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I have a new found love for this and we are first going in with the shade Tempera, which is a shade that's similar to my skin tone to set the primer. And then we are going into Orange Soda as the transition shade. To build up the crease, I am going in with Burnt Orange on a smaller crease brush. I don't want this look to be insanely too, too dark, but I am focusing the majority of the darkness on the outermost corner and fluffing that and blending that out into the orange soda color. I am using Cypress Umber on a more detailed flat brush because I wanted to get really good precision on that outermost corner, the outer V. And again, just fluffing and blending that out first and foremost before I go in with the next color, which is the shade Bronze. And I do have my brush wet a little bit with some setting spray just to make that foiled effect and prevent fallout. Just going back in with my original blending brush just to make sure that everything is properly blended. This is something that I always do so that we avoid any harsh lines. I'm using the Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner in my waterline and then I'm using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyeliner and if you guys want to see a video on how to do winged eyeliner I will have that in the description box down below as well as a card so be on the lookout for that. And this is actually a fantastic liner especially for beginners because the tip is very flexible, highly recommend. And then for mascara, Big Tease from Buxom. I've been really enjoying this mascara to give a good amount of volume because I am skipping false lashes today. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm using the Stay Matte Primer from Rimmel to make sure that no oiliness is peeking through. I still get oily in the winter, believe it or not. And as far as foundation goes, I'm using the Revlon Color Stay. I honestly forgot how amazing this foundation is for the drugstore, and I'm so happy that it now has a pump, and it just gives really nice natural medium coverage. I am using the one that is is specifically formulated for oily skin and I just really like it. It's a nice affordable medium coverage foundation, not so heavy and makeup-y and for concealer moving along, Studio Skin from Smashbox. I love how this is waterproof and doesn't crease on me throughout the day using a little Real Techniques brush to blend that in and of course just going back in with my fingers to really make sure that is perfectly blended in. Givenchy Loose Powder, which is one of those like tri-colored powders just to help neutralize and set everything. I am using this both on the face and under the eyes using two different brushes. I love how this doesn't give any sort of flashback to the skin and it's just really, really nice. I love this powder. I feel like this is a very underrated powder.
So I wanted to finish the under eyes before I move on to the rest of the face. I'm using a little bit of the shade Rustic and Sienna from the palette on a small little pencil brush. I wanted to, again, give this look a little bit more dimension without it making it look overly too smoky and dark. And of course, definitely don't want to leave the lashes naked, so I am making sure to go back in with my mascara for the lower lash line. Moving along, finishing off the rest of the face, this is the Saddle Shade from the new bronzer collection from Anastasia, and I really, really enjoy this bronzer. I definitely am excited to try out the other shades from them as well. I'm using the Anastasia Blush Trio in the Berry Adore collection, and I'm using the orange shade, which is called Desert to kind of warm up everything. I really love coral with a good gold type of eye. I think it works really nicely. And then for highlighter, Anastasia yet again, this turned out to be an Anastasia uh, tutorial. Gleam highlighter palette, love it. Speeding through the brows a little bit, I'm just using the Brow Wiz and I'm just setting that with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel as well. And then I'm going in with a ColourPop Lippy and I think it turned out really nice. What do you guys think? This is the final look. If you guys would like to see future tutorials with specific palettes, let me know in the comments down below. I will gladly film them. And of course, I will have all the products listed down below, like always. And I think that's all I have to say for this video, other than I love you guys. And I shall see you in the next episode of Put Your Makeup On. Have a great day, guys. Bye!